What's up guys, this is uh, this is Gus here and doing another commentary for you guys. I'm going to try to try to keep this upbeat and interesting for the whole nine minutes um, of this video. So sit back and grab a coffee. You know, screw coffee, grab like a Diet Coke. You know, low sugar content and you still get that nice Coke taste. Maybe a Coke Zero, I don't know. Uh, maybe like a Pepsi Max, something of the, along those lines. But um, you know what? No, 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 no. Screw Pepsi. Um, go with the Coke for sure. Um, that's just me. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely prefer Coke over Pepsi. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, what I really wanted to talk about was the NCAA Men's Division One National Tour Championship Tournament thing. Uh, March Madness shit. Uh, KU lost today to Virginia Commonwealth University, and um, I live in Kansas City, and it was it was a very difficult day for um, for many of us in the Kansas City area, and I'm sure around the world. I mean, the KU is like the Yankees of basketball. They have fans everywhere. Um, just I mean that's just how good they are. And, um, it was a sad day for all of us. People went crazy on Facebook. Um, some people were disappointed. Some people were happy that KU lost. Don't ask me why they were happy. I guess there are some K-State fans or MU fans or whatever. But um, it was a it was a rough day, and and it really took a while to settle like to set in for me because I was I think I was in denial honestly for for most of the time like uh, when there was less than a minute left on the game clock and KU was down by seven or eight they ended up losing by ten I just kept not wanting to believe it but and I'm like there's no way this is happening how is this happening and uh, and it happened for sure and um, man it's a real slap to the face but you know what um, there is there's many positives to this you know we're gonna have an amazing team again next year. Virginia Commonwealth, you know, they ne can't necessarily say the same thing. Um, you know, we are one of the best programs in the nation, and there's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna have a great team for year, you know, for many upon many years to come. So, um, and I mean, the Elite Eight, it's better than last year, that's for sure. We lost in the second round last year to Northern Iowa. And uh, I think this one might have been a little more devastating, just because we were in the Elite Eight. You know, we made it pretty far. And the funny thing is, is, is us KU fans were not really satisfied with anything but a national championship, because we will bitch and complain about an Elite Eight loss when most teams, you know, would love to get to the Elite Eight. For example, you know like Missouri, Mizzou, or K-State, they've never won a national title. The Elite Eight would be good for them, but for us, it's just not good enough because we, we've just been spoiled with amazing KU basketball. And uh, so we should honestly count our lucky stars, as they say, and really be um, feel lucky and feel good about ourselves that we have a very, very prestigious basketball team and a very winning basketball team at that. Um, losing is never is never easy to accept, but um, at the end of the day, it's a basketball game, and at the end of the day, there are more important things than than basketball. Uh, at sometimes it, it it can seem like basketball is the only thing anyone cares about, but um, I don't know. V VCU played a phenomenal game. And I'm not trying to take anything away from them. They definitely deserve this victory. They work their ass off for it. Um, anyone that can beat Kansas by 10 points definitely deserves a win. Anyone that can beat KU, period, deserves that victory. I don't care if the refs gave us some bad calls here and there. This game shouldn't have even been close for KU. And I think that, I think we... Slight, I think we underestimated them in the first half. We were down by 14 going into halftime, 
And when you're down by 14 against a dangerous team, a d team that can pop threes like VCU can, it's hard to come back. It's very difficult. And um, it was definitely an uphill battle after that. And we just and we came within four points. Oh, I remember one particular time, and um, <clears throat> that's um, that's all we could do. That's um, but VCU, congrats, and I wish you the best of luck with um, the rest of your tournament play. Um, so then VCU, VCU and Butler. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Um, I, I, for some reason, I just think Butler is going to win. Because it seems like Butler cannot lose. I think they might end up doing the exact same thing they did last year. My prediction is that they're going to go to the national championship game, but end up losing to Kentucky. Um, that's just my prediction. But it's also interesting how all, all four of the number one seeds didn't make it to the final four. Not one of them. Pretty damn crazy. Pitt. Um, Pittsburgh was the number one seed. They were very overrated, and quite frankly, they suck dick. So I didn't expect them to go far at all. I actually had them losing pretty early in my bracket. And then Duke, a very weak number one seed, I had them losing pretty early as well. And then everyone thought Ohio State was going to win the national title. And people also thought Kansas was going to win the national title too. But I seriously had some Jayhawk fans literally tell me that they thought Ohio State was going to beat Kansas. And I'm sitting there wondering, how the hell can you call yourself a KU fan if you think that they're going to lose to a team? Like, That's not what fans do. Fans support their team. They root for them. They cheer for them. That's, that's, not, that's just not the definition of a fan. How can you call yourself a KU fan and think that KU is going to go all the way just to lose to Ohio State? So, um, I, literally everyone thought that Ohio State was like the most amazing team of all time. You know, whatever. Um, clearly they're not. They're, um, I don't know. Their program isn't that great. It's okay. Um, shit, man. <laughs> um, in terms of, like, accepting the loss today, I've definitely gotten over it, and I've definitely moved on. I, I, there's some people I think that are never going to move on. Like, people were still bitching about the Northern Iowa loss. Um, you know, us losing to Northern Iowa last year. Which is pretty fucking ridiculous. Considering that that happened over a year ago. It's like, jeez, get over yourself, you know. So, um, I don't know. But speaking of this gameplay, I'm pretty sure this is like a rape sauce gameplay. Yeah, this is my game where I go 76 and 9. Um, I had, you know, 9 is a pretty large amount of deaths, but 76 is a pretty large amount of kills, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you can't complain when you get a game like this. I honestly, like, I was playing very aggressively, so that that is why I had 9 deaths, but along with those, you know, along with me playing aggressive, I do get two chopper gunners that um, I cut out of this video just because no one likes to see chopper gunners. Um, so yeah, the game's about to end here. I go in the corner and call my chopper gunner. <clears throat> and I get to use it, and I, I go to town with the chopper gunner. And my final score is, as I said, 76 and 9. And look forward to more content from me. Look forward to more March Madness debating from me. And um, you guys have a nice day. This has been No Try Hard, and I am signing out.